Today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. Hello there, my beautiful pumpkins, and welcome back to the pumpkin patch. If you are new here, hello, my name is Chloe Taylor, and on this channel, I believe that we have one of the most cozy, vibey corners of the internet. So if you like my vibe, you like my style, you like the way that I read, be sure to hit that subscribe button and become a member of the pumpkin patch. Now, today's video, we are going to be channeling in from spirit the message that you need to hear right now. I believe that if you pulled up to this channel, channel on this day. Spirit really wants you to hear this message, this guidance, and it is going to reach you well. Now, before we get into the reading today, we do have a quick word from today's sponsor. I wanted to sit down today and actually talk to you about today's sponsor because this sponsor is one that I've wanted to work with probably since the start of my channel. It's very special to me. So y'all know that on this channel, we are all about bridging the gap between mysticism and logic. We are all about making psychology and spirituality coexist. And that's just a really big thing that you see here. I think it's something that actually sets this channel apart from other channels is that's really the area that we dwell in. And if you've spent any time on my channel, you are well aware of that. But of course, I believe that the tarot can only take us so far. It's great at helping us understand our inner world. It's great at helping us understand where we might feel blocked, but sometimes we need a little bit more help. And I am the first person to encourage everyone to seek mental health professionals when we need to. So I'm very honored today that BetterHelp is actually sponsoring this video. That's Better H-E-L-P. And BetterHelp is an online therapy service that connects you to a network of over 20,000 licensed therapists that you can connect with at your own convenience. The setup process is extremely easy. You go through an incredible questionnaire that really helps you figure out the type of therapist that you would like to see. And it takes 48 hours for a therapist to be assigned to you. And you can change your therapist at any time. If you feel like maybe one isn't working, you can swap to another one. Y'all know for the last year, your girl has been going through it. My Saturn return is going on until March of next year. And we also have the North Node in Taurus and I'm a Taurus sun. So we're dealing with the most over here. And I talk very candidly about my experience in therapy, in and out of therapy. And recently I started seeing a therapist on BetterHelp. And even just from the first meeting, I felt very validated. I felt very seen. I felt very held. And I even had some things explained to me about generalized anxiety, which I really struggle with. I had some things explained to me that just really made a lot of sense about what I'm going through. And so I felt very seen and I was given tools from even that first day to help me reconnect with my breath, giving me like Basically, my therapist gave me mindfulness techniques to connect with in order to re-regulate my nervous system and bring myself back to the present moment when I start to feel like I'm living too far in the future, which is something that I really struggle with. I've had such a great experience thus far and I can't wait to speak to my therapist again. So I hope that any of you that feel the desire to speak with someone that you will check it out, you will reach out. Uh, again, that is betterhelp.com slash Chloe. You get 10% off your first month if you sign up at that link. I will be linking it down below for you. So that's going to be betterhelp.com slash Chloe. Thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. We're going to go ahead and get into the channeling now. So this is just going to be a collective channeling today of just what you need to hear right now. I wanted to reuse my Rose Oracle because this deck is very gentle. It brings us messages from the Divine Mother, which I have another video on my channel where I did messages from the Divine Mother that we use this deck, but... We're just going to go ahead and get started with this deck and see what spirit wants us to know today. So we have plant yourself here, integration, embodiment, and grounded action. 
We have the Rose Garden, Innocence, Forgiveness, Be Gentle with Yourself. We have Open, Say Yes, Expand Through the Extremes, and Trust Life. So right off the bat with these three cards, with Plant Yourself here, we're going to focus on that first card. We have Integration, Embodiment, and Grounded Action. So let me show you this card a little bit closer so you can see too. But basically, right off the bat, I feel like Spirit is saying that you have had a really hard time in this new territory that you're in, whether it is a literal physical place that you've moved to, or you're just not really feeling grounded in your current surroundings. And I know sometimes that just getting grounded can sound like the easiest practice in the world. And like, no, it must be something more. I'm feeling, you know, really up in my feelings. There's no way that this practice of actually getting grounded in the present moment is going to change anything. And spirit is saying that this practice actually can change your entire life right now. So taking grounded action, embodying that, integrating what things you have learned recently, what you've, what you can connect to, even if this means going outside and actually practicing grounding, which if you're unfamiliar with that, it's literally just getting connected to this earth where we currently are, especially because this card talks about planting yourself. And what do we do here on this earth? We plant. So integrating lessons. I, I get the feeling Spirit is saying that you have maybe recently been through a really difficult time, whether it's been mentally or physically. And Spirit is saying that it's time to actually integrate all of those things that you recently have learned from that experience because the universe is always trying to communicate with us in some way. So for you, it's time to actually integrate those experiences and ask yourself, you know, instead of why me, it's almost the energy of like, it's not just why me, it's like, how can I learn from this experience that I'm finding myself in right now? What could my soul have wanted me to understand from this? And then with the card Rose Garden, this one here, it says, innocence, forgiveness, be gentle with yourself. So this is really about not only just being easy with yourself. I know that we are probably the hardest on ourselves, just in general, as people, we are the hardest on ourselves, more so than anybody is ever going to be on us. And this is about having self forgiveness and self compassion. And Maybe with everything you've recently been through because you were having a trauma response, maybe you were in survival mode and you had to do things that you weren't proud of. Spirit is saying that A, those times are over, but it's time to be kinder to yourself about those situations. It's time to give yourself more validation, give yourself more love. If you're here right now, I know some of y'all are going to think this is cheesy, but I need you just to do me a favor. Just real quick, I need you to basically put your arms around yourself. Just do it. <laughs> Just do it. Each arm over your like forearms or over like over around your shoulders. Just cross your arms over yourself. And I want you to remind yourself that you have carried yourself through every single moment until this moment, and you're going to carry yourself through every moment going forward. And it's okay to go gently with yourself. Maybe in the past, somebody taught you that you need to move quickly or that everything you do is punishable. And you don't have to continue to live in that mentality. It's okay to move forward. It's okay to integrate the lessons that you've learned and not carry them as your current truth anymore. You are allowed to be gentle and easy and forgiving of yourself. You know, it's, I think honestly, forgiveness is the hardest when it's for ourselves. So and then we have the card open. So you can let go. You can keep hugging yourself if it feels good. I did it too. It felt real nice. Um, but now we have the card open. Say yes, expand through the extremes, trust life. So this, I feel like these, all three of these cards can be really hard, um, just really hard medicine to receive. I don't want to say like hard pills to swallow, but they can be hard medicine to receive because nobody wants to suffer. Nobody wants to be in 
an extreme. Nobody wants to struggle through life. Not a single one of us wants that. It is literally human condition to want to not struggle, to want to be in happiness and fulfillment and feeling good. But Spirit is saying that there is beauty in opening up to the struggle. There is beauty. Like, haven't you ever noticed that when you are struggling and you allow yourself to finally cry about it, how much better you feel, how much healing those tears give to you, how much after the fact you feel lighter, like you literally released energy out of your body because you did. That to me is kind of this energy. It's say yes to allowing, say yes to letting your emotions be in motion and with expanding through the extremes and trusting life, Spirit is saying that right now, especially as we come into eclipse season, but this reading is meant to be timeless no matter when you come across it, Spirit is saying that right now it's okay for you to open up to life. It is okay for you to be more open to the experiences that you've been having. It's okay for you to... Allow yourself the expansion that you came here to experience. I want you to think about the hardest thing you've ever been through in your life in the past and remind yourself how you overcame that and what you learned from it. The instance that you're in now potentially could be mirroring that. Maybe not with the exact same experience, um, but it's mirroring that to you in the way that you are equipped to handle whatever life is giving to you right now. And it's okay to open yourself up to that. So I'm going to go ahead and get a few Oracle cards from this Threads of Fate Oracle. This is the Rose edition we're going to be reading from. I hope you all don't mind that I'm shuffling a little bit today. I wanted this message to come in as a more gentle message and really just to be present with all of you because that is something that uh, even in my own therapy session this last week, we really talked about is that when I am feeling very anxious, which those of y'all, you know, if you listen to what I had to say in the better health, if you listen to what I said there, when I talked about better help, you know, I deal with anxiety. And, and when we deal with a lot of anxiety or worrisome thoughts, we're often living in the future. We're not living in the present moment. And same when it comes to thoughts of sadness or even depression, we're often living in the past and we're replaying moments. We're not in the planted present moment. So I hope it's okay that I'm shuffling with y'all and just being very present today because that's the energy that I'm giving to this reading. I'm reminding Reminding you with my intention to be present for this message and for yourself. It's literally like the energy I like put into this before I even got started. So let's go ahead and take a look. We have connect to the heart. Oh, this does not surprise me at all. <laughs> we have connect to the heart. Beautiful. This connect to the heart card literally is just saying connect to your heart right now. Uh, when we feel very like dysregulated, it can be a myriad of areas in the body that come up, but spirit is saying that your heart is really needing the healing the most right now. Your heart is wanting to sing. It's wanting to, um, maybe even break a little bit and it's okay to allow that process to unfold because when that happens, we also allow like, Maybe if you're feeling like you're about at your wit's end or at your breaking point, remember that when you allow yourself to be cracked open, that's when you let the light come in. That's when you let the healing wash over you. I know that that can be a really hard thing to do, but you're brave. You are brave and I promise that you can do hard things. And we also have... Strength. See, what did I say? I literally was just like, you can do hard things. Um, you have the strength card coming out. And the strength card literally is here to remind you that obviously not everybody always wants to be strong all the time. Sometimes we're tired of being strong. But that strength can also be quiet strength. It doesn't have to be this us going out there and always doing and always being. Sometimes it's, it's strength to just take a step back to just relax into flow to be with self. And that can take I mean, I talk about this all the time that 
a lot of us really want ease in life right now. We want that divine feminine energy to sweep in, but it's some of the hardest energy to sit in because we're not used to it. Many of us are used to feeling hyper vigilant and always aware of our surroundings. And spirit is saying there is strength in just connecting to your heart. There is strength in just stopping and having self-compassion. And that's really where you need to exist right now. And it's okay to do that for yourself. There's nothing wrong with doing that for yourself or taking that time out for you. And now I also want to pull some cards, just a couple from the, this is another Threads of Fate deck. Of course, I'll always link any decks that I use down below for you, but uh, we're just going to be using another Threads of Fate deck. This one is the Empyrean. I feel like this one often comes as the hard medicine that we need sometimes. And we're just going to pull one to two cards from it and then read them from the book because the descriptions always are exactly what we need to hear, especially as a collective so we're just gonna take a look here so we have needle which I know these ones are kind of hard to see needle so we have the card needle and then we also have earth oh look at that I was literally just talking to you about grounding and we get the card earth beautiful we're going to go ahead and, like I said, look at that one from the book. Okay, so for Needle, it says, let your intention steer you. Needle asks for precision. There is always a time to go with the flow, to explore opportunities to say yes, but this is not it. Whether you are just beginning or have been journeying for some time, it's time to revisit the origin point. Life has a way of pushing us off course sometimes, which is why we want to have a plan. And when we do get off course, we must check back in to right our way. Like ships at sea, if we begin our journey just one degree off, we will end up hundreds of miles away from our desired destination. This is a moment for intention and exactness. Whether you have a blank canvas or need to reevaluate, it's time to reflect and get clear. So whatever you're going through right now, Spirit is reminding you that it's okay to stop and take stock of what you want moving forward, of how you want to choose to act given the circumstances that you find yourself in or given the situation that you find yourself in. I find that in today's world, one of the most frustrating things is that so many people don't believe that change is possible, that people don't change, that situations don't change, that the economy doesn't change. There's so much rigidness to our current time space reality. And the thing is, because we have the power to change, that means that everything around us has the power to change because we are the universe and the universe is us. Isn't that such a beautiful sentiment in general? Now with the card earth, it says our spirit wasn't, or excuse me, our spirits weren't made for this place. Like mismatched lovers, unable to fully meet each other's needs. We still try. We carry on making the most of our gravity bound blink of an eye time. Earth is a language we are still learning how to speak. Clumsy, trying to translate our spirit's fire into words that can be understood. Ooh, I just got the chills. A picture that can be felt through a screen. The cosmic joke is that the puzzle pieces will never quite fit together. We will still close our, our eyes at night, trying to quiet the questions that don't make sense here. The medicine of this place is rooting where you are. Look, you literally got another thing about planting. Adapting to the density, chewing over the unknown, but not letting it annihilate you. The earth teaches us how to make do. Like being on a stranded island and figuring out how to make a, a spearhead out of a stone, a raft out of a buoyant wood. It's imperfect, a silver, a sliver of the potent of the potential, but we learn. Some overshoot and destroy, extracting and building and with no real purpose. Others become paralyzed, fading away. The lesson here is learning to walk into the storm and not look for an axe or a getaway car. It's knowing it will be a millennia before we strike the right chord, but we get creative anyway. We clench our fists and fight anyway. We soften our hearts and love anyway. We let our lives be a prayer for the future, for the you and me that will be here again soon. 
we seek to remember on our trips to this place, and we make friends with the ideas that we can't, but we try anyway. I think that's one of the most beautiful cards I've ever seen in this deck. It moved me to tears. Oh, let's all just take a deep breath together real quick. I knew this message was going to be potent, but my goodness. Okay, I'm going to draw one final card for us. And that is going to be the message that you needed to hear today, my beautiful pumpkins. One last, one last card. We have courage. Divine courage is not the absence of fear, but a nudge that says, keep going, do it. Don't worry. All will be well. You have to get quiet enough to hear it, dear divine. Dear divine, may I feel your courage and your will. Be courageous enough to follow your heart, pumpkin. Be courageous enough to stand in your own authenticity. Be courageous enough to take control of your life and change the habits that you desire to change. I wish you nothing but the best on your journey. Please do not forget when you stand on your own authenticity, you empower everyone around you to do the same. Thank you so much, BetterHelp, for sponsoring today's video. Please don't forget to check them out in the description box down below. And uh, if you would like to find me anywhere else online, I do have my Patreon available to you where you get early access to my content, weekly energy readings, exclusive pick a cards, and so much more. You also get... Um, just like bonus content. We do cozy streams. It's a really good time. If you'd like to book me for a personal reading, I do have my website, chloetaylor.com, where you can do so. And if you would like to support me in another way, I do have my cash app Venmo and PayPal listed down below. If this reading touched you in any way, of course, it is not an expectation, but always appreciated. And I also have my wish list linked down below if you'd like to see that. But in any case, thank you so much, Pumpkin, for joining me. And I wish you nothing but the best. Continue to plant yourself here and be present. Thank you.